What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so, here we are, in the Desert Resort, and we're about to make our way to the Relics or whatever. We're gonna have another long episode here in the desert, because you guys already know, I don't like deserts. I really don't. This is our little side quest. Before we get into Nimbasa Town, or Nimbasa City, or whatever it is called, yes, Nimbasa City. So, let's go. Uh, first things first, I actually did stock up on repels off screen because, yeah, I used quite a few. Actually, a lot. A lot in uh, this whole area right here. Now, here, here we are entering the desert resort and uh, talk to this guy right here. He's like, I'm going to see the ruins, but I'm afraid I might get lost in the desert. It's really big, and sometimes you run into Pokemon. Will I be in trouble if I'm not strong? Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. You better have some good Pokemon, man. And this guy here is like, I hear you can find a newly discovered entrance of the ruins if you go through the gate and just head straight. That is true. That is very, very true. Now, let's see. This is the desert resort ahead. It's nicer than an average desert. I hope so. I really do. Okay, so let's see. Here we are in the desert resort. Talk to this lady. Uh, the relic castle. We have to go there as well. And uh, I'm a school kid, so I know this. Just like in caves, you can run into Pokemon almost anywhere in the desert. But they don't like hiding into the pale sand, so if you walk there, you won't have to worry about battling. Okay, well, that's cool, I guess. I don't even know. And uh, always check the trash cans, guys. Always check the trash cans. Okay, so here we are inside uh, the desert resort. Inside the desert desert now. Let's see. If you talk to this guy, he's like, I can't clear out to the desert resort to train, but there are so many ground type Pokemon that I'm already in tatters. So friggin' true now. Of course, there is a doctor here, and you guys already know that uh, if you battle doctors or nurses, you will actually get to heal your Pokemon right after the battle. So let's go right ahead and battle this guy. That way we have a, a, a guy that, that can actually heal our Pokemon right here. So here he comes out with a Solosis. Now this is uh, probably like the first time we're taking on a Solosis, maybe? I don't even know. Yes, okay, so here it is, Solosis meat. Ace, Ace, Solosis. Eat this crunch attack right here. And crud, it has a snatch attack, and uh, I guess it's a little quicker than ours, right? Just a little quicker. Okay, there we go, there we go, and look at that Shadar. Goes to level 22, and thanks to that, Homeboy here gets to heal our Pokemon right now. So, yes, we're going to be healing up our Pokemon. And you guys can go to him at any time. Any friggin' time right here. Now, there is a little bit of something right here. Now, go ahead and make sure to have your uh, item finder ready because you will be able to find some Pokemon around here, too. And, uh, actually, this place is home to a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, some of the same Pokemon. Sandile, uh, May... Uh, hold on, hold on. I, got, I gotta check this whole thing right here. And look at that. Hey, look, it's a Tranquil. So, if you're going in here, the desert, you're gonna be finding Sandile, Darumaka, Maractus, Dwebble, and Segalift. And one of the special Pokemon that you'll be able to find around here, too, is Darmanitan. Well, this is only if you have a, uh, let's see, what was it called? A, uh, a chocolate? A dragon bar berry or something like that? I don't even know. <laughs> it, it's been a while, guys. But yes, you will be able to find, uh, you will be able to find a Darmanitan uh, right here. But there's a special, a little special something that you need in order to get that Pokemon. And look at that. Ace grows to level 25, and, uh, yes, that is a good boy right there. You are a very, very good boy right there. Okay, so I'm going to have to switch out my Pokemon right here, and, uh, let's go with Sign of the Torrent yet again, because, uh, we got, a, we got some stuff to do right here. Now, um, speaking of the Pokemon you can find right here, there is a Pokemon of interest that I want, and, uh, before we do anything, I think it's right here. No, it's somewhere around here. The item that I'm looking for. Okay, right here. Okay, so there it is. We found ourselves a rare candy. Always needed. And uh, now, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. See what he has to say. Oh, that moment. That's when we use Pokemon. Okay. That's you. Let's get it. Okay, so here we go. Psychic Gavin would like to battle, and he is coming out with a Seleucus as well. Yeah, that's right. Seleucus. Okay, Solosis. You think you're all tough and everything? It's a pretty good Pokemon to actually have. I kind of thought of getting it, but eh, you know what? Again, Team Dynamic, it's all the big thing for me right here. And, uh, well, oh my god, he's coming out with a late screen attack, so... You gotta be aware of that there, too. Oh, crud. 
So here we go. Light screen, or no, no. Light screen, or no light screen. Here we go with another Fury Cutter. And this guy is coming out with a hidden power attack. Oh my god. Bam! Okay, so, and, and we get, you know, we get hurt twice. And, uh, no, I guess it's fast enough to use that Snatch Attack. So, we're gonna use this, uh, Fury Cutter. Now I hit it three times, so it's just as powerful. And, uh, yeah, buddy. We're getting hit by more, more stuff. You know what? I'm just asking for them to just throw out more Pokemon because I kind of want to use Fury Cutter just a little bit more. So, here we go. Damn it! Missed it. So, uh, yeah, there goes, uh, there goes that Fury Cutter that, you know, we, we built up. So, let's go. Water Pulse. Let's get this. Time to eat this right here. There we go. Water Pulse. Not for the win. Good God. Alrighty. Oh, God. So, yeah, our Pokemon's HP has just gone down tremendously just because of this crud. So, here we go again. Water Pulse for the win. Yeah, buddy. That's right. Side of the tour and kicking some butt, taking names and all that stuff too. Okay, so that's enough of that. And uh, you know what? Let me switch out my Pokemon right here again. Um, I think the Pokemon that I might be needing is Drillmonger, the for for obvious reasons right here. And uh, it's only a matter of time before I repel wars off, and there it is. Okay, so here we found ourselves another Firestone. It's always good. Now. I'm gonna fast forward to what it is that I'm looking for because there is something here that I have been looking for for quite some time. So I'll be right back in just a little bit, guys. Alrighty, it took me a while here and there, but I finally found this bastard. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Sigalyph. Yes, the psychic slash flying type Pokemon, a very good combination, and yes, this is one of the Pokemon that I wanted on my team, and yeah, I, I, I kind of mistaken it, uh, maybe once or twice on trying to find it, but here it is, I'm going to try and capture this little bastard right here, and uh, look at that, it's using its tailwind, oh crud, it has three eyes and everything, but yes, a psychic type Pokemon plus a flying type Pokemon is what I needed for this team, and uh, you know, I was actually debating whether or not to actually capture this guy, or... Or to capture, uh, or to, or to just uh, revive a, a Pokemon fossil. But you know what? I kind of figured that the mo most important Pokemon that I need right now is a flying slash psychic type Pokemon. A good combination since I already have Pokemon that will be learning some rock type moves. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna try and capture this guy right here. I'm gonna try and use a different Pokeball right here. So let's go with a Quick Ball right here. It is kind of quick, maybe. Hopefully, maybe. I don't even know. Come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. Damn it! Okay. Alrighty. You're not so tough. And uh, look at that, using its side wave attack. That right there is pretty awesome. And, uh, well, I'm gonna try and do this again with another, another, uh, quick ball right here. Come on. Come on. Stay in there. Stay in the goddamn ball! Come on! Yeah! Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the team, Sigalif. And I only got a good nickname for this guy too. It's uh, it's pretty funny. I don't even know. I don't even know it's funny, but it's just like unique or something like that. So here it is, Sigalif, the Ev uh, Evianoid Pokemon, psychic and flying type Pokemon. They never vary uh, the route they fly because their memories of guarding an ancient city remain steadfast. Oh wow, look at that! This is a very very ancient Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Okay, so the nickname that I will be giving this guy, I will be quiff you the nickname Gigglyf. Gigglyf. Uh, Gigglyfif. Fuck, I can't even pronounce him. <laughs> can't pronounce my own uh, Pokemon's nickname right here, so let's see. Gig. Giggly. Giggly. Giggly Lif. Oh, yeah, that's what it was called. Giggly Lif. <laughs> wow. Uh, actually, it's two G's. Giggly. Let's see. Giggly. Lif. Giggly. Uh, giggly. Yeah. Giggly. 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 Lif. Giggly. Giggly. Yeah, it's Giggly. <laughs> wow, I really suck at nicknames, guys. This, you see, this is this was my rant from last episode. Okay, Giggly. 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 Gigalith. Okay, can I? Okay, there we go. Nope, that's wrong. Damn it, where's the H? Right there. Gigalith. There you go. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the team, buddy. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at his Pokemon right here. Um, okay, Gigalith. Gigalith, or Gigalith, or whatever. It's an adamant nature, of course. And it is both Psychic and Flying type Pokemon. Now, it's, uh, its best move right here is Magic Guard. The Pokemon only takes damage from attacks. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Comment down below, guys. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's a pretty good Pokemon. Darn good Pokemon. And what I'm gonna do now is I gotta go to the... I have to go straight to the, uh, to the doctor right here so he can heal my Pokemon right now. And then, uh, I'll take care of the rest right here. So, come on. Let's walk through this whole thing of this desert right here. Holy crud. And, uh, alright, guy. Please heal my Pokemon. Yes, sir. He's healed. Okay, so... All my Pokemon are healed, and uh, now, let's see, who has, uh, okay, so we got six Pokemon right here, and like I said, guys, there will, it, it, there will be a, the Pokemon are subject to change, eventually, you know, here and there, and all that crud. So, let's go ahead and continue our little, our little exploration right here, and uh, here we found another item, and we found ourselves black glasses. Okay, so that I can use eventually for a Shedder right here. And talk to this lady. Being with my Pokemon makes me happy, even when we're in a bad situation. This is true. Very, very, very true. Okay, so let's go. Backpacker Liz would like to battle. And she's coming out with her Watchog. Yeah, you know, this 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 crazy looking Pokemon right here. This dude to this dude right here. Okay. Alrighty, Watchog. Bring it. Let's go. Fire Punch for the win. Good God, it is faster than me. Uh, come on. Come on. Don't be lame. Uh, and, of course, we're going to get hit by freaking uh, confusion. And we're buffed. We're buffed. Uh, come on. Let's do this again. Quick Claw, come on. Damn it. Okay. So there is no way we're going to beat this guy right now. Because look at that. Super Fang. Uh, you suck, Wajog. Fucking hate you. Hate you with a goddamn passion. Uh, okay, so, super potions. You gotta love them. Alright, there you go. Get that super potion out of the way. Super fang on me. Fuck you, Wajog. You asshole Pokemon. Alright, time to eat this fire punch. God damn it! Uh, come on! Come on, watch! Oh, come on! God damn it! Fuck you, Watchog! Okay. Okay, so... You're about to get your ass kicked. You're about to get... A whole bunch of ass kicking right now. Alright, let's go, Shatter. Time to brick break this motherfucker right here, and, uh, of course, Crunch. He wants to use Crunch, but it's not effective. So here we go. Brick break. Eat this fucking shit. There we go. Yeah! Suck on that, Watchog. Suck on it. Moxie. Okay. Yes, we're gonna do this. Oh, uh, yeah. And look at that. Shedder grows to level 23. And it wants to learn payback. Okay. Let's see. What does this do again? Uh, let's see. User moves. Gets double. When it, uh, okay. If the user moves after the target. And uh, I'm not even gonna do that. Okay. Don't need it. Don't really need it. I'd rather not miss and hit. Or I'd rather not miss than, you know, take a. Whatever. You know what? Screw you. I hate Watchog. I really do. Okay. So I'm not even going to go back to the doctor. It's uh, just a little bit of a waste of time. Let's go and uh, use that revive on my poor hotshot right here because, yeah, why not? And uh, you know what? Eliminate doesn't hurt right here. Let's go. There we go. Alrighty. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, battle some more Pokemon trainers. What does this guy have to say? You're the first person to come clear out to talk to me. I'm so moved, I'll give you this. And we get ourselves a Soft Sand. Another gr another great uh, item for Ground-type Pokemon right here. And, uh, wow. This is very deep. And, well, turned on my Dalzy machine just in case. And uh, I see some stones right there. Okay, so we're... Are, okay, right... Okay, there you are. Found ourselves a Hyper Potion. Always nice. And as you can see right here, guys, there's a mysterious ocean right there. Uh, body of water, I, I should say. And here we found uh, the Relic Castle, I believe. The, the separate uh, entrance of the Relic Castle. So, what we're going to do right now is... Uh, gotta use a Super Repel. 
And, uh... Well, if you guys are wondering what these guys are, these are Darmanchians right here. They are fall they are actually asleep. This is their other form. Now, if you actually give them a rare, like a rare candy bar, I think that's what it is, a rare candy bar, some kind of chocolate bar for these guys right here, they will actually wake up and attack you. Now, they will all be at level 35, and they will actually have a, what was it? They, they will have an extra, well, they will have a, uh, a pretty cool effect on them. So if you guys want to just wait and capture these guys, and that you know, by all means, go ahead. But if you just want to go the the easy route and capture yourself a Dar a Darmanchian or Daromaka, then you know, it is what it is. So here we are in the Relic Castle right here. Let's see what this guy has to say. There are two things I've learned about quicksand. If you try to walk through the middle, you'll fall, and if you try to run through it, you'll fall. Okay, so very, 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 very good advice. And uh, let's go right ahead and uh, take a look at what our Gigalith can do right here. Alright, Lexi. Bring it. What do you got to say right here? My psychic type Pokemon just started making noises. Is that because we're in the ruins or because of you? I don't know, you psychic type Pokemon trainers, you guys You guys kind of uh confuse me sometimes. So here we go. He's coming out with a single What the hell man? Come on! And a lot more powerful than mine right now. So I gotta train my Pokemon right now. I have to train my Pokemon. Ah, uh, Jeebus. Okay, so, let's see, who is, uh, okay, so if I use Shattered, that's gonna be bad, so let's go straight to Ace, the Wonder Dog. Not the Wonder Dog, but just Ace. Alrighty. And, uh, well, this guy right here, he's defending himself pretty well, so he's gonna be using, uh, Light Screen, so let's go Crunch Attack. Of course, you're gonna be using a freaking Psybeam on my, my poor little doggy right there, and god dang it! Oh, uh, fuck you, confusion. Uh, oh my god. Come on! Uh, you suck! You suck balls! Okay. Okay, so I have the torrent. Well, let's get this. Okay, so we're, we're getting challenged right here. We're getting very challenged right now. So, time to eat this water pulse. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. That's right. Water pulse for the win right here. There we go. Didn't take much, what the hell? Okay. Alright. Um Razor Shell. Okay. And this guy's kicking my ass right now. God dang it, Sigalov. That's how my that's how strong my Pokemon should be. Okay, so your light screen is over. Time oh crud, oh crud. Here we go again. And it nearly defeats my 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 side of the torrent. Suck on those balls, Sigalif. Oh god. And everybody's you know getting experience points, but god dang it. Okay, I'm a little disappointed in myself right now. There comes a time in every episode, or in every walkthrough, where I realize that yeah, there are other trainers out there that could beat me in all that crud. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of them, and uh, I'm usually used to dominating my opponents right now, but right now I'm getting my ass kicked. Two of my Pokemon fainted, Ugh, due to confusion and all that crud. You know, this is where a full heal is beneficial, or a full restore, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, I can't run right here because, uh, yeah, we'll get we'll get hurt, and uh, yeah, forgot about the repel, or did I? I'm looking at a yaw mask. Okay, so I completely... Oh, I didn't forget about it. I didn't forget about it, so I'm going to run away right here because I don't want none of that. All right, so let's go right ahead and, uh, you know, take care of business right here. Okay, let's go straight for Shadar. Shadar. All righty. Let's see what you got to say. All right, what's up? Just being here fills me with magical power. Okay. Okay, so who is next? Psychic Duo wants the battle. And there it is. Woobat is out. So here we go. There we go. Okay. So I may, may be at a disadvantage, a slash advantage. And yeah, right now I am not fast right now because... Look at that! I just got my ass kicked. I'm getting my ass kicked right now by a freaking Woobat. And, uh, yeah, that next move will not survive, so I gotta go straight to Ace right here. 
Ah, jeez. Okay, alrighty. And uh, there we go. Okay, so let's go crunch attack. This is where Ace is gonna shine, but these god dang air cutters are pissing me off right now. Alrighty. Eat this right here. Fuck you, Woobat. Yeah, this is the episode where I'm gonna be cussing a lot because these guys are pissing me off right now. Okay. And, uh, of course, he's alerted, but here's the crunch attack. This is the move that you should be alerted. That's right. And, uh, well, it didn't work. Nothing works. Alrighty, here we go. Again. Crunch attack. Okay. Alrighty, and look at that. Shedder. Grows to level 24. It's always good. Very, very good. Okay, so let's see. You know what? I have to do this. I have to do this because, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, because right now, Gigalith is not in any position to actually be battling everybody. Actually, we're going to be battling a bunch of, uh, a bunch of psychic type trainers right here. So let's go grab that and do that. And, uh, let's see. Do this. Okay, so. We're gonna do this. We're gonna give this to that guy right there. And uh, we're gonna give this to that guy. And, uh, you know what? We're gonna give that to that guy. And, uh, we're just gonna keep that. We're gonna keep the scope lens, uh, in stock for just a little bit. Now, here we have two trainers, and we have to walk aside right here, because if you walk into the hole, you're gonna go through the hole. If you try running, you're gonna get freaking, uh, you're gonna, you're just gonna sink. There's no ifs, ends, or buts right here. So, uh, let's see. Let's go with, uh, let's switch him out right here. I haven't done any kind of, uh, double battles in quite some time. So here we go. This guy, what does he have to say? Trainer! You still can't move ahead because uh, there's so much sand. I will do my best to move the sand. Give me a second. So we can't go anywhere right now, but let's see if you talk to this guy. I've been carrying two Pokemon fossils, but they're just so heavy. Would you like to take one off my hands? Yes, I do. Okay, so this is the part where you can actually get a Pokemon fossil from Unova. And uh, I've been thinking it over, of course. Uh, yeah, there will be a Pokemon that I may or may not be using in the future uh, for, you know, with, with this fossil right here. Uh, it all it all depends on what happens with uh, Gigalith right here. So the fossil I will be using is the Plume fossil right here. Yes, I will use the Plume fossil or the bird Pokemon. It couldn't fly. Very, very fast Pokemon right here, too. Okay, so that right there is good. Now, I'm just going to run through the hole right here, because there's a second uh, layer right here. And uh, maybe we can actually find some extra stuff. Interesting stuff right here. Look at that. Okay, so... Okay, so we're on top of something right here. And look at that. We found ourselves an elixir. Always nice. And, uh, let's see. Grab this item, and we found ourselves another revive. Always good, and that is pretty much it for this area right here, guys. There's nothing much that you can see right here. Eventually, we're going to be going through this whole area later on into our adventure. Yeah, there's there's uh, some uh, some stuff that goes on right here. So, let's see. We found uh, this. Look at that. Super potions. You gotta love super potions. And uh, don't want to battle you just yet. And uh, would you look at that? This is the Relic Castle right here. And, uh, yeah, as, as I said before, guys, you can't do anything right now because we, 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 we need to progress through this whole, uh, this whole thing. I think it's after we become a champion and defeat Team Plasma that that's enabled to go, or that will enable us to go through that whole area right there. So, let me just put on another repel. Need to put on another repel. So, let's go right there. And, uh, actually, yeah, no, I'm already done. Right there. Get this and uh, grab this. Found ourselves a hard scale, which will be beneficial to us. And uh, I'm trying to find the item right here. Okay, right here. Found ourselves an ether, which is always good too. Very, very good. All right, so who's next to battle the great Draven right here? Uh, let's see. Um, oh, there's another item being detected. But you know what? There's a person right here wanting to battle us. Alrighty. Okay, let's see what you got. Alrighty. So, let's go. Pokemon Ranger Jaden would like to battle, and she is coming out with her Daruma. 
and uh, oh shit, I'm coming out with my Darumaka, which is always great too, because uh, I guess, you know, I guess, uh, whatever, it's, it's, it's good to use the same Pokemon at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out my Pokemon, because I really don't need this mess right now. Let's go to Drillmonger. Let's see what we got. Alright, Drillmonger. What up? How you doing? And there's that facade attack that we didn't, we never used, and that is super strong right there. Ah, oh, crud. So let's go. Let's do that dig attack. Dig attack, dig attack, dig attack. Alrighty. Can you stop me? I don't even know. And uh, there we go. Dig attack for the win. There we go. You see, Drillmonger can do stuff. He can do things. Look at that. And uh, he's going to be coming out with a Blitzel, or she's going to be coming out with a Blitzel. So let's go right ahead and continue on right here with a Dig Attack. I think I've already told you guys I wanted to use Blitzel before. Not much of a Pokemon that I would want to use anymore. Look at that. And uh, there we go. Dig Attack for the win. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at that. Everybody's getting beat by Drillmonger. Yes, sir. Okay. And, uh, well, let's see. Yeah, after defeating a Pokemon Ranger, remember, they always give you some kind of a berry just to help you out right here. Because, remember, in Pokemon Black and White, berries are pretty scarce. And, uh, well, let's see, there's an item right here. There we go, we found ourselves a Stardust, which, of course, you could sell for more, for more money right here. So let's go, and, uh, let's see, let's switch out our Pokemon right here. Dar no, you know what? Darumaka needs, uh, needs more battles. I haven't battled anybody yet. So let's go ahead and battle this chick right here. And what do you have to say? Scorching Desert, a passion of adventure. Okay, here we go. Bring it. Let's go. Let's do this. So here she comes out with a ducklet. God dang it. I always pick the wrong Pokemon. I really do. Alrighty. Let's go see what goes on right here let's see what you can do all right so let's go with the headbutt hopefully that will do something right here and uh, well it's gonna be yeah surrounding itself with water and yes I do miss god dang it alrighty you will not defeat me you ducky Pokemon I will destroy you with uh, hmm. eh, yeah you know what ace ace will do it ace can do it let's go ace Alrighty, and then here comes that bubble beam. Why'd you want to wreck us? And uh, yeah, that was a critical hit right there on it and on its part. Uh, okay, alrighty. You know what? Let's go take down attack. Time to take, time to take this. Time to take this. There we go. And uh, God dang it. And uh, look at that. Of course the. Uh, yeah, that the sandstone doesn't affect Ace right here because it's effect. So, there you go. Look at that. Easy. Alrighty, okay. So there we go, we defeated another one, and we get ourselves a Raspberry, which will help us with, uh, you know, any kind of burns or anything like that. So, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, I've already used up a lot of potions, so let's go ahead and use the the super potion right here. And uh, let's go to give that to the Ace. And Drillmonger needs one too. Okay, so everybody has been uh, has been taken care of. And uh, is there anything else right here? There might be something else, and I cannot go through this whole area right here. Yeah, there might be somebody else waiting for us. Maybe, I don't even know. Oh, look at that. We found ourselves this item, the TM39 Rock Tomb, which I will be teaching uh, Drillmonger. And uh, let's see, is there anything else that I'm missing? No. Nope. God dang it. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's go with, uh, not the smoke ball, but a super repel right here. There we go. And let us move on. Okay, so there might not be another Pokemon trainer here. No, I've already battled that per po Pokemon trainer, and, uh, okay, so I think we've completed, no, actually, we got a few more. You know, there might be some, and might be, there might be some trainers that I do and do not battle. Uh, I think I've already battled this guy right here. Yeah, okay, so the Go-Go Goggles, you got them from the Hoenn region, 
which would have been beneficial for all of us right there. So that is pretty much it right here for the Desert Resort. Uh, like I said, I'm going to just, you know, mind my own business and uh, not battle anybody else right here. I think I've already battled all of them. We got the Pokemon we needed, and uh, now it is time to go to Nimbasa uh, City, which is home to the next gym badge that we are looking for. And uh, believe it or not, this is the fourth badge right here, guys. So this is going to be an interesting one because she is an electric type gym leader, plus she's a model. Yeah, buddy, model. Okay, so there is a item right here wanting my attention, and crud, I'm getting attacked by a Pokemon. What else is new? Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's a uh, Darumaka. What else is new? Okay. Alrighty. Do you not want to get attacked by any Pokemon right here? Um, uh, you know what? I know I'm wasting a Super Repel, but fuck it. Screw it! Uh, let's see, it's right here. Look at that, we found ourselves a Hyper Potion. Much needed Hyper Potion. And, uh, well, let's see. Now, off screen, I did battle this guy right here. So, yeah, he, he was not much of a challenge right there. And, uh, now we are going straight to Dombasa City. And, uh, this is the entrance. Uh, later on in Pokemon Black and White 2, you will actually see that, you know, they, they progressed in this whole area. Now, if you come up here, before we do anything, let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Uh, Nibasa City's head, and then, uh, yes, okay. Go straight ahead. You'll see Professor Juniper and Sharon just waiting for you guys. And he's like, hello, Draven. Come here. No, you come here, you motherfucker. Okay. Lisa called and uh, was asking me about electric-type Pokemon. And I thought about you guys. That's why I wanted you guys, uh, wanted, wanted to see you guys. Ta-da! Freebies for you! Here, Sharon. Here, Draven. We get ourselves Ultra Balls, which is always nice. And, uh, if you see a Pokemon that you want to, want to have to join you, be sure to, to use a good type of Pokeball. Because this could be the first and last time you'll see that Pokemon. Okay. I know it may seem strange for me to say this, since, uh, I'm the one who asked you uh, to complete the Pokédex, but please remember to enjoy your journey. Of course, I'm not saying you can, uh, just neglect the Pokédex, but you know what. Now if you, if you'll excuse me, I have to go meet Bianca. Okay, where is Bianca, anyways? Hmm. Okay, so, what do you have to say, Jaren? It seems the professor gave us the Pokédex, uh, for a reason. Sent us on a journey. At least, that's, uh, what my mom told me. They wanted us to go out and see the world, so my mom, Bianca's mom, and your mom made the request of Professor Juniper. Draven, what should we do now? Um, you should leave me alone because I still got shit to do, you know? <laughs> I think I'd like to show my, uh, the Professor my, uh, my thanks by going to Route 4 and catching uh, some Pokemon I haven't seen or haven't caught yet. Well, you go do that, I've already caught some Pokemon, okay? Alright, so let's see, what does this guy have to say? Look at the electric bulletin board. See what's happening in Nimbasa City. Okay, so let's see what we have. Uh, there are tennis matches, glowing basketball matches. The excitement awaits you at small court. Okay, that's a that's an area we're going to be visiting. And they say someone who loved battles also happened to be a railway railway maniac, and that's why we now have the battle subway. Okay, so that's another place we can look at too. And then sometimes scout spot pro potential potentially popular Pokemon at the musical theater. Okay, that's another place we can go to too. Run and battle. Trains never stop. Battle subway in Nimbasa City. Okay. Anything else? Oh yes. And as I'm recording this, yes, it is the 19th of March. So that is uh, something else you should uh, keep a worry about. I've been stocking up on videos. Now, once you hit Nimbasa City, before you go into, into like, really the town, you'll see this old man right here talking to Team Plasma, and he's like, Gramps, we know you run the daycare. How do we know? Because we're Team Plasma. Team Plasma, we are, or wait, shouldn't have read that one. We are taking peop, uh, Pokemon away from people. Since you work at the daycare, we figure you must have a lot of Pokemon. Hand them over. What kind of nonsense is this? He's looking around, he looks at me. Oh crud, I just got stared at. Crud! Oh, a strong looking trainer, please help me! Oh uh, crud. If you're going to get in our way, we'll dig your Pokemon too! Okay. Uh, 
I'm flexing my muscles just right now, guys. So bring it, just bring it. Here we go. Team Plasma Grunt would like to battle. And he's uh, coming out with the most hated Pokemon in my, in, in that I ever heard known. Watch out. Yeah. Okay, so let's go right ahead and finish this guy off right here. Let's go. Fire Punch. Yeah, that's right. Quick Claw gets it. God dang it! So not even a freaking Quick Claw can actually outrun that thing. And look at that. See, this is why Watchdogs are the most annoying Pokemon ever. Just, they do that kind of crap. And, oh, you're going to do it again. So here we go. Eat this Fire Punch, you asshole Pokemon, you. There we go. Watchdog gets it. Gigalith grows to level 21. And it's trying to learn Air Cutter. All right. Okay, so it's a very good move. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to take away Tailwind or Whirlwind because it, it really doesn't work at all. It doesn't work at all at all. Mm -mm, nothing. And uh, he's going to be coming out with a Trubish. So what a better way or what a better Pokemon to test my Pokemon with than this guy. So here we go, Gigalith. Let's get this. Alrighty, so look at that. It looks like a majestic flying kind of uh, relic right there. Could have named this guy Relic right here. Okay, so here we go. Psybeam for the win. Oh, yes. Gigalift is a uh, great addition to the team. Great, great addition. Still, I'm kind of debating whether or not to use uh, uh, that, that, that fossil Pokemon right there. Team Plasma's like, oh! That went downhill fast, so I think we'd better run! Let's hide out at the amusement park! Oh, uh, well, way to say it. Way to... Well, way to... Way to, way to say everything. And the Daker Man's like, thank you so much! Please take this as a token of my gratitude. It's a brand new bike. I'd always plan on riding around in Bossa City, but I never ended up riding it. And look at that. We get ourselves a bicycle. And he's like, I have a daycare in Route 3. If you have any Pokemon you want me to raise, please drop them off. I just came at the Sicy, but I got a lot I got into a lot of trouble. Eh, well. You'll be fine. Okay. Oh wait. There's Bianca. Hey Draven! Yoohoo! Oh crud, look at that. What's up? The professor told me that Boston City has a lot of things to see and do. The amusement park, big stadium, small core, and the battle subway. She's looking around. I'm going to see the the Pokemon musical. See you later. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna we're gonna let's see where is the Pokemon Center because we need to stop right there. Okay, so in the next episode we're gonna be taking a small tour of Nimbasa City, doing all that crud, and then uh, after that we'll see what happens. You know, we shall see what happens. See you guys.